Yeah, I mean, well, you you brought up something that is interesting to me, and I I just had never heard about or thought about. Like you talked about not really pushing the services to your audience and really banking off of the Fiverr algorithm. And you know, kind of hearing you sound like, man, it makes sense. Fiverr has an algorithm. Everything has an algorithm. But can right. you talk about like that space? Like, what did you learn? Kind of like working through that process. Like, what were some things that you had to do that you didn't think you had to do to kind of help you out in their world? For sure. Um, show your face. That's that's a key component. Um, you can have a gig and you can just put your picture on there, put a bunch of words, but your the visual component, the making a video, saying "Yo, hire me" or an original video, just anything that shows a person. And now more than ever, it's important to show a, a live person. I get more people wanting to Zoom chat with me about their idea because they just don't want to feel like they're talking to a robot. You know what I'm saying? Especially they don't want to feel like they're getting scammed, you know, because it's it's kind of scary that it's like, yes, I will make a hot beat for you, send this much money. And then they'd be like, is this a real person? You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm compassionate for that. But showing your face, I had to learn about that. Customer service had to be on point with that. You got to be non, you, you can't be emotionally invested in the work you do. Cause they may ask you to revise it and you'd be like, man, I killed that beat. You don't need no revision. That's, that's, that's a complete, but you can't be like that. You gotta be like, all right, what is it that you're wanting to change? You got to be very detached from the work. And that was hard. Cause I'm just like, bro, there's no revision needed. I killed that beat. Like you don't need a revision, but I had to just silence the ego and be like, okay, what, what realistically are you asking me to change? So, but I had to learn business. I had to learn about my image. I thought it was always about bars and verses, but I can't be looking crazy in a video because it just it won't sell the song you know what I'm saying and that was another component that a lot of rappers on Fiverr didn't uh offer um videos I said I'll do it you know what I'm saying um I just tried to see everything that I could actually do and then I did it and then they said oh you need to um add a video add pictures add this I just did everything because that's really the thing when you think about any kind of success have you tried everything and then usually it's going to be like, well, no, I haven't tried. Then then you ain't did it all. You got to do it all. And I guarantee you, after doing it all, you're going to see some kind of success in any arena. Yeah. Are, are you are you only working in Fiverr or are you working in any of the other like gig economy sites? No, nah, just economy? solely Fiverr. And then also when people hire me outside of Fiverr, like they hit me up on Instagram, they email, they hit me up and I work with them. And and that's that's crazy. And that's sometimes it's not even related. to They don't even know I'm on Fiverr. They just find me on Instagram, just posting my freestyles, which is really dope. I find that really cool. Man, so they see you posting freestyles, your regular music, and they still yeah. ask for custom stuff? Yeah, which is crazy. I'm like, dang. I'm just like very fortunate that it just, I'm not promoting fiber and you just find me and you're like, yo, can you? And I'm like, that's dope. They don't ever even know that the two coexist, which I find really dope. That's interesting. And you said something earlier, you make your own beats. Yeah. So do you also have a gig where you make custom beats for people? Nah, I didn't want to do that because I felt like it would uh, overexert me. Because I actually had a gig um, when I first came on Fiverr and then I shut it down. I was mixing for people. Like they would send me their song and I'd mix it. And I can technically mix, but I realized how much I hated mixing because I would judge all these songs. I'd be like, oh, he could have went hard on that verse. Oh, that this beat ain't all that. And then I'm just like, why am I doing this? This is not what I need to be doing. I need to be uh, not detached from the work and I couldn't do it because I'm like, I wasn't, I, I would be judging the music instead of just mixing it. Cause I'm yeah. like, I need to make, I need to make music. You know what I'm saying? So, and then with doing beats, I feel like if you ask for revision, I'm like, man, I ain't trying to pull up. So anything I can do quickly and efficiently, that's what I want to do on Fiverr. I don't want to do something that overexerts me and has me stressed out after I log out the computer. I just want to be able to just, cause I can revise a verse over and over and it doesn't bother me. Cause it doesn't take much effort to write it. Cause I've been doing this for 20, 20 years, but making a beat out, I still do it, but I just don't want to offer that skill when I would get frustrated with people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's like a creative exercise for you. Like, yeah. yeah. Where people can take forever to write something, come up with something for you. Right. It's like clockwork, which is dope because also you talk about creating your own beats. That probably allows you to charge what you can charge too because you don't have to oh, like yeah. go buy a beat from somebody else or anything like that. In fact, that right. is. Let me take a quick second to make a special announcement. Kibo has made the decision to actually do a small course on how to make money like he's made on Fiverr. Step by step from setup, hacking the algorithm on Fiverr so you can get paid more and how to handle the entire process. 
you can check it out at www.brandmannetwork.com slash Fiverr. You have to type in www.brandmannetwork.com slash Fiverr. That's F-I-V-E two R's. And I have to say, this is extremely special because we don't know if it's going to be available for long, truly. He's just doing this test. You'll hear in the interview that he didn't have a course, decided after we first talked to him, hey, I'll give your audience something a little special. It's going to be a huge deal than what he normally would charge for it. So if he does decide to keep doing it, the price will definitely go up. So check it out now at www.brandmannetwork.com slash Fiverr after you finish the interview, of course. How long does it take you to create a track? Um, it, it literally can take me less than 30 minutes because for one, I already have a bunch of my own original beats that I've made and then I, I hire my brother. So everything is like not, I don't have to use anybody else's unless the client gives me a beat and or if it's a personal use beat. Like if it's something personal, you can get any beat. And I pretty much, doesn't take me long. It doesn't really take me long because I've already had a beat because I like to work like that because otherwise I'm going to be sitting there working on the 808 for like days and be like, mm, can you change it? And that just be too long, man. Like, I'm telling you what what y'all think y'all want with the beat. You don't you don't care. It just got to give you a, a feeling as soon as you hear it. And I'm like, I already know the beats I like and what I work with or you give me. So it can take me 30 minutes or less. And it sounds like I'm just throwing something together, but it really just be off emotion. When I read what you tell me, I'm like, I just get into like, OK, this is how I feel when you send me that. And I'm going to just give it to you how I interpret it. And then it's up to you whether you want me to change it or not. But so it doesn't take me long. 30 minutes to create a song. How much? You... Um, oh, for the for thirty for uh for thirty seconds, right now I have it set at sixty five dollars. You know what I'm saying? And but again, thirty minutes to t to make a full song. Technically, I can do it, but I usually don't. I usually spend an hour because I like to kind of, I I like to kind of let the hook, kind of let let a melody come to me. So I like to like, kind of just I don't know step outside or something because I really want the hook to be memorable. So that's why I don't rush the the a full song. But thirty second song, sixty five, uh. 16 bars i have it at 130 just equal and then right now i have a full song at 250 because it was lower but i i i upgrade i changed it up recently i still think you need to run those numbers up a little bit just, a, just yeah a little bit. you're right you're, you're moving right. in the right direction <laughs> yeah you're right you're right I, i'm i'm changing it because i feel like it's it's time and, and the workload is increased so i got to be respectful of my time and, and the craft so 